it. I'm Renee Ward. I'm with Friends of Animals Humane Society in Eldon, Missouri. I have been for a number of years. Um, we function out of the Eldon area, the north side of the lake. But like you've seen, we work with a lot of groups. Okay, so you posted on your Facebook about this. The Correct. How did you find out your information? Um, that came to me right after it happened um, from people that were at the clinic that saw it. But, you know, I've read the reports too, and I don't know what to, to what degree the animal's injuries were. So what I'm thinking is... Um, you know, the level of injury, whatever that may be, an animal was neglected because that wouldn't have happened if somebody had been watching what was going on. So however that happened, I, I can only say that, you know, I've been told now that the clinic said that it did, you know, it, and it happened at the shelter, that's all I know. Why bring, why bring light to the situation now? Um, we were actually uh, in the process of trying to work out some kind of a program with the city on the shelter, um, and we were talking with the city about how we were going to go about that because their policies had changed, mm -hmm. and that affected us. So we needed to figure out a way to make it work so we could get the animals out of there. Um, and that was one of the things we had talked about. Was that going to be addressed? Would that We needed to, to make sure that didn't happen again, and we thought that was going to um, be solved. Apparently it was put on the back burner and, and, and proposals and programs for the shelter didn't come to light and so along came this new uh, proposal for the, uh, the, the city uh, animal control and um, we thought it was time that the citizens of Elvin knew what was going on, that they needed to be aware of the new changes that they were proposing and I also wanted them to know that there were some things going on at the shelter that needed to be uh, they needed to be aware of, and that was that there weren't enough people watching what was going on out there. So your biggest concern, you keep saying we want to make sure that it doesn't happen again, it doesn't Correct. happen again. Are you talking about the neglect? Are you talking about the abuse? Are you talking about the euthanasia? No, we, we, want to, we want to make sure that there's enough people on board out there that can be watching over these animals and, and make sure that if two animals are brought in and you've got a female in heat, she's not put in a run with a male, and, and she's subject to... That, that sort of thing all night long. You know, we need to make sure that there's enough people watching what's going on, taking care of the animals' needs, and that is the need that the animals have to be, that has to be met. Okay, so what do you think about this? Um, it's a huge turnout. What do you think about this? I think it's fabulous, and I think that it's kind of shown the city of Eldon what's out there. I don't think they realized what kind of uh, organizations surround them and network and get these animals out. That it is, uh, you know, we, we work really hard to get them out, and we all network. There's hundreds of rescues that we network with. We do transports every week. The answer to the problem is there, but I don't think they realize that, and I think this was an eye-opener for them. So how will you personally, you said that you run your own organization of your own, or you're in charge of it, how will you personally be helping out that you well, it's like what I proposed before. I want to set up some kind of a structure with them. I want to set up an advisory board. I think that people that kind of have been doing this for years will be involved in the decision making so that, you know, we'll be able to save the money that the city needs to be saved. We can we can create uh, awareness programs. We can involve the public more. We, we don't want to shut anybody out. So it, we want to be a positive force in this community and then we'll be able to reach out to others and make it, you know, happen for the animals. So. Um, I hope that the city will address the proposals that they had um, been wanting to change and maybe consider that. So maybe they need to go in another direction with it. So you think that maybe they can use this meeting to kind of build off what they had in the proposed order? Absolutely. I think that would be a real positive thing. And, that's, they, and, and, I, and it will be positive. We'll make sure of that. Well, I think we have a huge community full of caring people. I, I always have. I mean, we have a thrift shop, uh, so we're kind of like the hub. We're the hub in town when it comes to animal, you know, people in need. We help feed them. Um, so we know what's out there. We know they're out there. And we talk to them all the time. So this is a great community. And I, and I really uh, feel like they are, that's why I knew they'd be concerned about what was going on.